John Anderson. And this is our sixth in the foreclosure prevention series. And this one is on deed in lieu of foreclosure, or also known as deed in lieu. Mm -hmm. A lot of the banks will, uh, if you were trying to do a short sale or if they talk to you about your options, a lot of the banks will present you with this option and it can be very uh, confusing because if people don't know what they're doing, they'll just sign it over. Basically what a deed in lieu is, is you're voluntarily giving your home up. So it's kind of like if you get your car repossessed, you can either voluntarily let them take it, you know, give up your, your car or they'll come get it. So this is the same thing. Um, this, is, this still will impact your credit. Um, you know, you'll still be facing the foreclosure. You're just giving it up voluntarily instead of the bank having to foreclose on you. Yeah, so essentially you're just giving them the keys to the house and yep. they you sign the deed over to them and it's still gonna be recorded as a foreclosure. Most banks will record this as a foreclosure, so you will have a foreclosure on your So this benefits report. the bank because they don't have to go through all the work of, of you know, trying to find you and all that stuff. But it, there's no way it benefits you except you're walking away from the home. In some cases, banks won't do a deed in lieu because of subordinate liens. If there's a subordinate lien in place, um, they become responsible for it and they won't want to be in, in that case. So if the bank sees it's clear, they may do a deed in lieu. But if there's other loans or other liens, they're not going to do a deed in lieu. Um, that's uh, it for this video. And if you're going to need a short sale in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we'd be more than happy to help you. You can reach us at 972-342-0011. Thank you.